Got a fun little project going on today. Wanted to share it with you guys. I'm going to make a Faraday cage for my portable generator. Just that I can slip right over it, protect it from an EMP or a CME. So let's get on with it. To get started, we got to have the right tools for the job. Need a stapler and some staples, of course. A pair of work gloves. Let me tell you, when you're working with this wire cloth material, it will cut you, and it don't care. You also need a cutter to cut your wire with, and a tape measure to measure it out. So these are the tools you need. It's very simple. Let's get to it. So here's the frame of the Faraday cage. You can see it's made out of two by two uh, pieces of wood. Some of them you can see are weathered. Um, I always repurpose lumber when I can. Don't ever throw away lumber that you might want to use in the future because it's getting expensive, boys and girls. <laughs> but you can see right here, it is screwed together and glued. I glued the joints when I screwed it together. I put these pieces here for added support to make the frame stronger. But what we have to do is get this quarter inch chicken wire fencing. Got a roll of it here. We're going to go around the outside. And then we're going to put a piece on top. The wire is hard to see in this shot. But this is the way I have to do it. It's, it's laid out right there. Uh, you cut the proper length. You measure around the top. And then I just added a couple of extra inches just in case. But to start, you have to lay your frame on its side. Because you're actually going to want to wrap it in this material. Just like wrapping a box. So you lay it on its side. And you start working on one end and just work your way around. Leave a couple of inches extra at the bottom of wire so you can turn it up and staple it and it'll be protected on the bottom so let's let's start stapling here all right what we're going to do is start wrapping this in the wire we're going to take the the end of the wire and we're going to line it up with this right here that this is actually going to be a side uh, side beam, we'll call it, because this is actually going to be the side of the box right here. So we're going to line this up here. We're going to pop a couple of these in. And remember to leave a couple of extra inches here. So when you're done wrapping, you can turn it under and staple it on the bottom and help protect it. So we're going to do this. Make sure we got plenty of staples in there to hold it in place. Then I'm just going to turn it over like this. I'm going to pull this tight and I'm going to staple across here. I'm going to do that all the way around. And When I get done, I'll come back. Hang on. Okay, we got it all the way around the four sides. Uh, I'll show you, I'll set it up and show you, but right now we're at the bottom. Here's where I told you to leave that little extra. Here's what you do. You take your snips, and you just cut it on both ends, this end and the opposite end, and then you turn it down like this, and then staple it, just like you did. Just pop you some staples in there. Well, that one don't want to go. There we go. Do this all the way around the bottom. And that way you got a little protection down at the bottom as well. I know some of these cages don't work unless you have the bottom covered. But we're going to, hopefully this one's going to work without having to cover the bottom. Well, I just want to set this down over my generator. Hopefully I'll be able to show you that when I'm done. So let me finish this up. Then we'll get to the next step. Okay, gang, there's the finished product. Got wire on the top. 
on the sides all the way around. Now we're going to test it. Let's see what happens here. Okay, let's turn the radio on. Right there, as you can see, I had to put wire mesh on the ground. It wouldn't work without the mesh on the bottom. Signal is gone. Getting a little static, but that's just the radio itself. So, it does work with the wire bottom. There you go, folks. Simple little Faraday cage. Build your frame. Cover it with wire. Have to put that wire under the bottom. So, for me, with my generator, I'm just going to staple the wire to the floor in my shed where I store my generator. Just staple it to the floor. It'll always be there. And where we loop that under, under the bottom of that frame, it connects when you set it down on top of it. Works great. And with all the talk in Russia heating up about war, you might need it. You never know. If we do go to war with them, they're going to pop off some of them EMPs, boys and girls. You need to be ready for it. Hopefully this will help you out. If it does, give me a thumbs up. Share it with your friends if they want to build one. I'd appreciate it if you'd do that. So with that, I'm going to say stay strong, keep prepping, and pray for the USA. The Orlando Prepper is out.